Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a vlog today and we're starting the vlog on the train. It's bright and early, I hope you can hear me okay. It's a little bit noisy as we're going through a tunnel. We're just heading out of St Pancras station. But yeah, up bright and early today. I left the house at 6.45, so I got up at half past six, straight in the shower. It was a quick one, I just thought, do you know what? I don't want to set my alarm any earlier than half past six this morning. I mean, that's the earliest I've got up for quite a while. I haven't got up that early over the summer, which has been lovely. But back to filming, so back to early starts. And yes, yeah, set off at 6.45, made it up to um, King's Cross and St Pancras. Then I didn't know what train I was getting because I got myself confused. Ended up in the wrong station in King's Cross, I had to leg it over to St Pancras and have just scraped the train in time to go filming today. So I'm off filming with Sort Your Life Out today. And yeah, I just thought I would start a vlog. I thought we'd do a vloggy vlog and I'll just vlog a few random bits that are going on. I've got a few bits to show you back at home. Also, the kittens are due some jabs. So I thought we might go to the vets together. And yeah, I'll just keep you updated as to what I'm up to. We'll just do a bit of random, a bit of a random vloggy vlog. I'm going through a tunnel again. I feel like because I'm talking to you, every time I go through a tunnel, I feel like it's about to cut out. <laughs> but it's my camera, so we should be okay. Um, yes, that's the vibe. I think I need a coffee. I did swing by Pret um, on the way and got myself a little flat white and I've got myself an almond croissant and a porridge as well with some honey. So um, that is what I'm about to eat. <laughs> so I'm about to eat that. I could do with a table actually. It's one of those trains that is like this. So no table for me, um, but yeah, I'm gonna have my porridge and my croissant and then try and make myself look a little bit more presentable. I'll just show you what I'm wearing today for filming. Apart from this jacket, which I threw on, it's a bit chilly this morning. It was sort of raining as um, we headed across London. But I've got this shirt on. Hello, Summer. <laughs> um, this is from the charity shop. You might have seen it in a recent haul. And I was really pleased with this one because it was brand new. And the weather's been quite warm in London, even though um, we're in September now. But yeah, there's been some really warm days and I'm cleaning today. So I thought I would wear this and I've got some chinos on as well. These were from ASOS, these are really old. And then I've got these new, um, new Primark kind of Vans dupes um, for footwear today. And I bought this backpack with me. And you may remember this, I've had this for quite some time and it's really handy just to throw everything into this. So I've got a change of clothes, a different outfit in there in case I need it. And then I've just got things like my diary in the back, water bottle, um, a book that I'm reading. And this is the book that I'm reading at the moment. It's called Mind of a Survivor. And it says, what the wild has taught me about survival and success. So Megan Hine, she works on all of these kind of survival shows. So she works in television as well as um, doing all sorts of expeditions as well. And so it's full of kind of like real life um, survival stories, if that makes sense. But really, really interesting. Kind of a bit of a behind the scenes look at all of that kind of stuff. So I recommend it. She kind of talks about how different personalities survive in different situations and also just talks about lots of different survival situations so how people can end up stranded or all sorts of different things and they've only got like a few things on them so potentially just the clothes that they're wearing and all that sort of thing and how they cope with that um so yeah really interesting read but yeah i'm gonna have my brekkie now and then i'm probably gonna try and make myself look a little bit more presentable for me to find a plug socket to plug my straighteners in <laughs> but yes um i will catch you a little bit later it might be after filming to be honest because once i get there it will be all go but yeah let me know how you're doing down in the comments i hope you've had a good week if you're watching this on friday and are looking forward to the weekend let me know if you've got anything nice planned and yeah brekkie time for me and then i might even squeeze in a quick nap i feel really tired this morning um yeah, not used to these early mornings just yet, but soon will be, because there'll be plenty more of these throughout autumn. I've just snuck into first class to use a plug socket and sort my hair out. Some rail enforcement officers just came through, <laughs> so I've got to get out of here. They said to me it looked like I'm getting ready for a night out, because this is the situation on the table. <laughs> Oh, it does look quite random, the setup I've got going on here. I'm going to get this all packed up and go 
back to standard class before I get into trouble. Well, I've made it on time and I didn't get into trouble, <laughs> which is good. And I'm just off to the location now, so I will catch up with you a little bit later on. So just taking a little break from filming in the sunshine. Look who's here. Hello, hello. Dilly is up for a Blogosphere Award. Look at this lighting. I mean, Sorry, can you believe it? Back. That's so good, isn't it? What's the category? Uh, lifestyle content creator. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll link the, um, the what is it, the votes? It's closed. Oh, is it closed? Yeah. Oh, well, good luck then. I know, let's <laughs> Too hope. late, yeah. I'm sure you'll, <laughs> fingers crossed for you. Thank you. So filming is done for today. I'm back at the train station. I'm just sitting on a grip here. Oh, where is the train going past? Yeah, it's one of those small stations where there's not a shop and there's just a vending machine. So I made a bit of an error because normally I would raid the snacks on set, but I forgot to today. So I haven't got any bananas in my bag or any nice little things to nibble on on the train. So it's just me and a Diet Coke and we're heading back to London now. And yeah, I'm a bit pooped. It was a busy old day today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting home now. And tomorrow we will be going with the kittens to the vets. It's their first visit to the vets. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm sorry if it sounds a little bit windy. I've lost the little kind of wind muffler thing that goes on top of my camera so apologies about that i need to try and find it but yeah i wanted to tell you that i went to the car boot sale recently it was the peckham car boot sale and it was really good i didn't buy much but i did pick up something which i'll show you um when we're at home but yes i want to insert some footage now of the car boot sale so you can have a little browse keep your eyes peeled and see if you can guess what i picked up from the car boots and then yeah i'll share it with you when we get back
coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive It is the next day. Hello. Oh, <laughs> somebody wants my porridge. Oh. <laughs> As I was saying, it is the next day and <laughs> pumpkin. Drop it. We are off to the vets today because this pair, hello mittens. She's just down here too. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> This pair are going to have their first jabs, so I bought a backpack to take them there in. I saw um, Dainty Diaries had bought one for her cat Blondie, and I thought it looked brilliant. And yeah, I thought it'd be perfect to take these two down to the vets, didn't I? So we've had it out on the living room floor, and they've been kind of getting used to it. So they've used it as a bit of a kind of play tunnel, which is nice. So hopefully, when it's time for us to depart shortly, they'll be okay going in it, won't you? You've had your breakfast, why do you want mine? Hmm? <laughs> so that is the plan for this morning, and then I've got a day at home today, so I've got some editing to do and some things like that, so we'll have a nice day, we'll see how these two get on. And when we get back from the vets, I'll show you what I got from the car boot cell. So, this is it when it's all folded out. As you can see, it kind of has this tunnel bit at the back, which will extend out, and they can kind of sit out into that. And then this is the main backpack compartment. So we've got kind of like these net pieces. So this bit zips. They want to just poke their head out the top, like that. But you've also got an entrance here, so you've got like a little flap at the front for them to go through, kind of like a cat flap size. But then also both of the sides open as well, so if it's easier access for your pet, you can have them go in at the side, like this. And then it has this cushion that it comes with, so it's nice and comfortable for them in there. And there's also a lead inside, so if they have, <laughs> you see what's going on down there. So if your pet has a harness, you could connect them. But yeah, Pumpkin is interested already, aren't you? So I've been letting them have a good sniff with this just to get used to it and have a play in there. Let me just show you. Oh, Pumpkin, what are you doing? <laughs> Let me just show you how small it folds up as well. Because I wanted something that was easy to store away. Because some pet carriers are quite big and bulky, aren't they? Whereas this one folds up really, really small. So that bit pops back like that, and you can zip that back in. Obviously I'll need that zipped up for when I'm carrying them. I think as they get older, I'll probably need a second bag, but for now, two of them will fit in there. Absolutely fine for uh, short journeys like this one. And this section folds in, and then those fold over like that. So it goes really nice and flat, so you can store that away without taking up too much space in your home, because some pet carriers are really big and bulky, aren't they? So, very pleased with that. I will link it in the description box in case you're interested. I got it from Amazon. Right, let's put it back together, because these two, <laughs> we're going to have to get in it. It's nearly time for us to depart. I'm going to pop them on their litter tray just before we head out and then we will get going. But Pumpkin thinks it's a game anyway, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, you're going in that in a minute, aren't you? Right, let's see if you need the toilet. Come on. It's time to go. time this pair have seen a dog. <laughs> Rose, how are they 
doing at home? Yeah, really good. Good. Mm -hmm. right in. Hi. Yeah, it's always good. This is the first time I've come to the vet, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's always good to just give them as much time as possible. Just let them explore up and yank yeah. them out. Nice. We don't want them to be scared to come in future, do we? Yeah, we left the um, the bag out because so they kind of got used to it in yeah. the living room. Oh, that's good. The Caleb Play Tunnel for them. I know, there's so many weird smells. Oh my <laughs> god, they're adorable. Where are you? Wow. So which one's which? So this is Mittens. I love the like autumnal theme. Yeah. I absolutely love it. It's and this really... is pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin's a little pumpkin's bit bigger. the darker one. Okay, yeah. good. So, uh, da, 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 da. let's talk. Should we wear you while you're on there? So that's mittens. <laughs> so, little crash course on kittens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in yeah. So, there's kind of a lot of stuff to go through. Have they, do you know if they've had any flea or worming at all? I did the um, some at home flea treatment on both yeah. of them. Um, I did two lots, just like a little thing on their neck. Yeah, really getting them used to just doing things like just moving them about, like yeah. touching their paws, things they don't like, just so they're kind of more <laughs> used to it and not so shocked when they come here. Okay. Um, and then yeah, what... you pick them up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's have another look. So this is mittens, isn't it? Yeah. You are beautiful, aren't you? Do you know how many have they had in the litter? I don't actually. So they're about to have their vaccination. They're also going to be having their worming treatment. Pumpkin seems more interested in the ticking clock at the moment. <laughs> don't you? And Mittens is having an explore down here. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, well done. Well done. Oh, okay. bless them. Aw. Hmm. Brave boy. I know. You might just chill there. <laughs> Should we do her there? Yeah. yeah. There we go, three, two, one. Oh, brave Poppet. There you go. Oh. There you go. Do you well done. <laughs> Do you really feel that? So that's Mittens, isn't it? Yeah. Mittens is just like, meh. Yeah. Meh. She does tend to sort of hold that's back nice. and just watch things happen. Yeah. yeah. Should we do your worm and then I think you were done. You're worming? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. I've come out to rain, but these two have been so good, haven't you? I'm going to jump on the bus now and get you both home. Right, let's go before we get soaked. And we are back home. It is absolutely pouring with rain outside now. So I popped into the local cafe, got myself a sandwich. I've got a cheese and coleslaw baguette, which is my favorite from my local cafe. I always get one of these. They're absolutely delicious. They kind of toast the baguette. It's just really yummy. And yeah, I've made myself a drink. I've lit the candles and it's time to do some work. I've got some admin to do. I've also got some editing to do for a video that's going up tomorrow which will be a homeware haul. That will be linked in the description if you fancy a watch of that in case you missed it. And yeah, how good were the kittens in the vet? They are having a little snooze now. I think they're a little bit wiped out after their little experience. That's the first time they've been out and about since I first collected them from King's Cross Station in London and took them across London home. So yeah, they were really curious peeking out the bag as we went around. And yeah, in the vet, they were just so well behaved. The vet Emma was so lovely and helpful and just really took her time with them and I think they appreciated that and yeah apart from a little meow from pumpkin when he had his jab they were not bothered at all like mittens didn't seem to bat an eyelid when she had hers and yeah they've got a second vaccination to have in a few weeks time yeah they got back in the backpack absolutely no bother as well they seemed quite content in there and even a little bit of rain didn't seem to bother them so yeah it was a really good trip out I'm very pleased with them both and yeah they're just having a little snooze now so before I tuck into my baguette I'm going to show you the things that I got from the car boot sale. So, did you, ooh, hear that meow? <laughs> I think they've woken up. So if you want to guess, you can pause the video, put your guesses in the comments, and then continue watching. If you want to guess what I did pick up at the car boot sale. But the first thing that I got was this basket. So this is the Fortnum and Mason's mini hamper. So how nice is this? It's got the two kind of 
um, flappy lids, I don't know how you describe it. But yeah, really unusual shape this one. They obviously sell it full of food and nice jams and things like that, or teas and that sort of thing. But I just really liked the basket itself. And I had a little look online and these do retail for quite a lot on eBay. They're usually um, sort of 20 pounds plus on there. And I got this one for seven pounds. So I did haggle a little bit. He wanted a tenner for it, which was probably okay actually, um, considering. But yeah, I offered a fiver. And he wasn't taking that, so we did a bit of to and fro. He was saying eight, so I said six. We settled on seven. And yeah, very pleased with this indeed. The kittens have been in it. <laughs> I did think it was quite sweet um, with the kittens in it, so I took some photographs. In fact, I took one on my instant camera. Let me show you this. I thought it was a really lovely little memory. How cute is that? So yeah, I've been trying to take a few um, instant photos of them. Or they grow because they are growing so quickly and the other thing that I picked up at the car boot sale I can't show you right now because it's out on the roof garden probably enjoying the rain but it was one of the catnip plants that were one pound each I've never had a catnip plant before I wasn't even sure what they looked like and I bought it home and I got to the top of the stairs and sort of showed it to pumpkin and just sort of waved it in front of him and he arched his back all his hair stood on end and his tail went out like a brush. It looked like a feather duster or something like that. And that is indicating that he was afraid, I think. So he did not like the look of this catnip plant. I'm wondering if it's like the jaggedy edges of the leaves of the plant that kind of put the wind up him a little bit. But yeah, he was really spooked by this plant. So I'm not sure what was going on there, but <laughs> Mittens didn't seem too fussed. She's never too fussed, is she? She just kind of hangs back and watches on. But yeah, Pumpkin was a little scaredy cat with the catnip. So it's out in the roof garden. It'll grow a bit bigger out there. And yeah, we'll see how they get on with it maybe in the future. But for now, it it has not been a success that one but they do love the basket so the car boot sale trip was a success there was loads of great stuff at that car boot sale i think they've actually got another one um coming up maybe in a few weeks time it's the peckham car boot um if you want to have a little look at their website but yeah um, i'm gonna eat my lunch now and crack on with some work i'm going out way tonight are you close to here Feeling down, I don't know why. I know it's so surreal. Think I want to. So it's a little bit later on. I've just had a phone meeting. I've finished editing my video, so that's all ready for tomorrow. I'm filming this on Thursday. And yeah, I might actually edit the video that you're watching next. So I might wrap this vlog up so I can get that one ready for you. Um, so yeah, I'll probably wrap up the vlog now, I think. It's a drizzly old day outside, so I'm just gonna continue the afternoon of editing and have a quiet night in tonight with these two very tired <laughs> kittens. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed just traveling around with me for a little bit and seeing the car boot sale, seeing my car boot sale bargains and also coming to the vets with us. If you did, do give the video a little thumbs up. I'm looking forward to doing some more vloggy vlogs I think throughout the autumn they're some of my favorite kinds of videos to film just taking you along to random bits and pieces that I'm up to I think I've got a few nice things that I'm doing next week so I might vlog some of next week as well um, but we'll see how we go so yeah thumbs up if you enjoyed the video if you're new here don't forget you can subscribe and then you can um, be notified when I upload new videos if you press the notification bell and that way you can also comment as well and have a chat to me down there let me know how you're getting on so do click subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would love that. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely weekend if you are watching this on Friday. I hope you've had a good week as well. And if you're watching it any other time, of course, have a good day or morning or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching the video. But yeah, I'm going to crack on and get this one edited now. Oh, by the way, this jumper was the one that I picked up in Primark. And I think it's going to become one of my firm favourites for autumn. It's just about dried out, it was a bit damp from the rain. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd quickly tell you that before I end the video in case you were wondering where it was from and you missed that haul. But yes, um, thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you very soon. Bye.